in the process of engaging the experiment with God, you will come to have some faith in the human soul. You will have faith that you have a soul and that you are one half of it. And all of these other teachings that I've taught you, at the moment, the majority of you still have no faith in these particular things. Right? They're just intellectual concepts that you've been presented with. And there's not been a personal engagement of them because there's not a personal engagement with God. So this is what I would like to leave you with tonight. Make a personal list of the things in which you know you don't have faith. So instead of trying to run away from them all, face them. Make a list of all the ways in which you don't have faith, starting with God. And be honest with yourself about it. Really brutally honest with yourself about it. And then when you see that list, have faith that you can get answers to every single one of these issues you have with regard to God and your own self and your own life. Now, I suggest to you that if you have that kind of faith, the next thing that you will do is, is act. You will no longer be putting off actions. You will no longer be waiting for someone else to do it for you. You will no longer be reliant on someone else, including Jesus, to do it for you. You will wish to engage a personal relationship with your own parent, God, because you start to have some faith that there are going to be benefits Personal benefits in your own interaction with God. Does that make sense? At the moment, many of us do not believe this. And that's why we are addicted to doing all the things we're doing on the planet, on the earth. Addicted in our relationships with other people. Because we're so focused on getting all of these things met through those addictions. Because we don't want to go through this experience with God. For lots of different reasons. And what I'm suggesting for you to do as a, as a high priority is to note down the areas where, where faith is lacking and start developing some experiments where you can figure out how to get some faith in those areas. Right. So you want to first know where faith is lacking. And then you want to make some experiments for yourself that nobody else has control over that you are willing to engage because you want to experience your own life rather than rely on other people to experience your life for you. So once that happens, once you start this experimenting process, and my suggestion would be to experiment with all of these truths about God first. And then you can forget that one as well Experiment with all these truths about yourself next. That would be my suggestion to you. And faith is going to be a key part in dragging you through all of those experiences. Right? And it will also provide joy. Like It's very rare that you see me in a down and out condition, is it not? Right? Now, I do cry, but I cry as the result of receiving love, having the pain exposed and letting the pain come up when I'm receiving it. I don't cry in just because I'm frustrated and I didn't understand this law and I didn't understand that law and what's going on and all those kind of things. Very, now it's unheard of for me to cry in those particular areas because I've found that all I need to do is receive love and all of these pains will come out of me. And I'm suggesting to you to trust that same process. Receive the love and all of these painful things. Allow the experience of all of these painful things that will come out of you. It will come out of you if you let it. If you don't let it, it will stay in you. And you'll be like this bottled up person 
frustrated that you're trying to receive love, frustrated that your faith isn't growing into full confidence, into full awareness, into full trust. And five years' time, we'll be talking about this and you'll be going, yeah, I don't know if God exists still. And that would be a shame. And it doesn't matter what happens to me, it'd still be a shame for you if to come down five years later and say, I still don't know if God exists yet. It would be much better if you knew for certain one way or the other. And if you feel for certain that God doesn't exist, then try that as an experiment. 